Greetings. Welcome, everyone. My name is Wambui Bahati. Welcome to Wambui Made It. I am saying a special hello to all of my old friends that have been on the channel for a while and who have just supported me over the years, some from day one. And I'm also giving a special shout out and hello to those of you who may be new on the channel or maybe seeing this for the first time. The reason I'm doing this video is because I wanted to do a little review of quick, easy, and fun loom knit, uh, mostly loom knit projects that you can do, let's see, it's November already, that you can get done in time for whatever holidays or holiday you celebrate during the winter season. And the reason I'm doing this is because I have noticed that people will come on the channel mostly new, but not always new. And they'll say something like, I really like your videos. Do you think you'll ever do one where you show how to loom knit a washcloth? And I say, well, that already exists. Or sometimes someone will say, yeah, I really like your videos. When will you do one where for leg warmers? And I say, we did that already. And so what I want to do is, like I say, do a little review of quick, easy. These are projects that if you're a beginner loom knitter, you can do this. You need two stitches for most of these projects. And that is the, the E-Wrap stitch and the Loom Knit Pearl stitch. If you know those two stitches, you can go away and do some wonderful projects in a very short period of time and have fun while you're doing them. Some of the uh, projects that are on the channel that are a little more difficult. Well, they're not difficult. It's just that it takes time. You have to keep up with where you are, like the, the waffle a scarf, for instance, or the 10-stitch blanket, which I still think are easy, but they don't go really fast because you got to really focus on them and think about them. And it's not something you can do while you're watching uh, your favorite holiday movie or something like that. But I think all these projects can be done while you have... If you're into TV, if you have your TV on in the background or listening to music or even having a conversation with a good friend. Okay, with that said, let's just get to it. The first thing, now, everything I show you, every project I show you, I also am going to have the direct, the link in the description box that will take you directly to that video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is because I get this one a lot is the washcloths. So there is a video on this channel that t uh, shows you step by step. All of my videos are step by step how to loom knit washcloths. Okay, and so it'll tell you the materials that you need and I will walk you through how to loom knit your washcloth. Okay, and in addition to the washcloth, now, I, 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 a lot of people have told me that for this Christmas or holiday season, they're going to be making washcloths. Now, one of the things that was very popular among a lot of the people on the channel, as well as my daughter last year, just made these uh, scrubbies, and she would put a scrubby with a washcloth and she'd have a little package that looks something like this and then all you have to do is take a little piece of a small piece of ribbon and tie that up and you have a, a nice package right there and of course anything all gifts look better when you put some tissue paper around it somewhere so don't forget your tissue paper when you're ready to make your presentation of your gift but so I have I'm going to link below the video that takes you step by step through how to make the scrubbies okay all right and also i'm going to leave the link below that will take you step by step on how to loom knit cotton washcloths okay all right now the next thing I want to do the next request I get is headbands or and or ear warmers. And so we have a video on this channel that shows how to make the headbands and the ear and or the ear warmers. Now this is for an average size head. A lot of times people will say, well, how does that translate to a child who's five or a child who's three? 
and I haven't translated it yet. I'm I'm going to work on that, I promise. I'm going to see if I can get that in the description box by the time I get this up. But right now, uh, most of the things that I have videos for or for or were made for an adult, an average size adult. Okay, so this is these that we have a headband um, video, and I also am going to put the link down below. There is a video on this channel that tells how to add rhinestones to the things that you luminate. So that's going to be down there, how to add the rhinestones. Now, if you're a beginner, beginner, the first thing I always recommend that a beginner, beginner loomer, a beginner loom knitter makes is, of course, one of the hats. And to make a hat, you only need to know one stitch, the e-wrap stitch. So I'm going to put the link below to get you started on making a hat if you've never made one and you'll see how fast that goes how much fun it is to make and if you are new to loom knitting and you want something to look really fancy then the best thing is to get fancy yarn the yarn that has designs or gratings in it or just different colored a, a yarn that is a different color it's not changing yarn i mean just find a yarn that like this is one i never changed colors for this hat the yarn is this color and so as i loom knitted the hat the hat looks like is many colors okay so if you're new to loom knitting and you want your hats to look real fancy then i would suggest find some fancy yarn or yarn that has many colors in it okay so now the leg warmers we have leg warmers on the channel and again this is for an average size leg i do recommend adding a, a couple two pegs to go up if you want to make a thicker calf but these leg warmers are pretty forgiving because of the stretchiness but if you want some, um, a little bigger then I would say add two more pegs but I tell you everything about that in the video as far as the leg warmers are concerned and how to make them a little larger okay so we have leg warmers here on the channel we also have the house socks this was one of the last things that was uploaded on the channel the house socks okay i do take you step by step again it takes two stitches if you know how to do the loom knit pearl and the loom knit e-wrap stitch then you can make these socks and I believe I go slow enough and and um, take it step by step enough that you will be able to make a pair of house socks for yourself or for someone for a holiday present. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is scarves. I do have a video that I'm going to link below that tells how to make a flat scarf. Now, to make a flat scarf, what we know is that when you just start loom knitting, you need to have at least two different types of stitches in order to make that scarf lay flat. If you just start e-wrapping or you just start purling or using one stitch, the scarf is going to roll up on you and it's going to be what we call a sausage scarf. So... A scarf is always a wonderful present. And then there is also an additional video that will show you how to add the fringe to your scarf. Okay. And what I'm going to be doing this holiday season for my people is I'm going to be making the infinity scarf. Okay. The infinity scarf. All right, so this too is on the channel. I'm going to have the link down there on how to do the infinity scarf. Now, I did get someone today who said, well, I want to do the infinity scarf, but I only have a loom that has 24, uh, 24 pegs. And I get that a lot. Uh, usually it's the other way around. They have a loom with a lot of pegs and they just want to make something that's only going to take 24 pegs. And what I recommend to everybody is the Flexi Loom. The Flexi Loom. There will be a link in the below in the description that will take you to a review that I did on this channel of these looms. And these looms, a box of these looms is less than $15. And what these Flexi Looms allow you to do is to 
make your loom the size or with as many pegs that you want it to be. So when you have the flexi loom, you can say, oh, I want a loom that has only has 20 pegs. And so you can make sure you're you do a loom with 20 pegs. Or you might say, oh, I want a, a loom with 24, with 35, however many looms, uh, however many pegs you want to work with, you're gonna have the ability to make a loom that size. And these are very sturdy and they do work, work very well when they're all hooked up. Uh, it's a very good loom, okay? So there's that and also, one more thing I just want to show for those of you who might want to sew something. I love pouches. And so I do have a, a video on the channel. This is a line. It's a zipper lined pouch. Okay. And I do have all of the step-by-step uh, -step video on this channel if you decide you want to sew something and make a pouch. So I'm going to leave that right there. I just wanted to let you know the videos that are already up that will make fun, quick, and easy loom knit holiday presents. Okay? I'm going to leave it right there. Y'all have a good day today. Bye-bye. Seeking shelter from the storm If the spirit of the storm